Hey guys, Ben here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm at the Miami International Boat Show and things are are wrapping up. But before they do, I want to talk about SeaWint because I just finished previewing the brand new 1600, which I think is probably the most hyped catamaran at this show for a number of reasons. Uh, <clears throat> But uh, for a long time, talking about sea wind, the general rule is that sea wind has not been very popular in the American market. Uh, there are a number of reasons for this, but that is rapidly changing. Uh, I've talked to the people at the sea wind booth. They are very excited. They said they were doing hugely brisk business at Annapolis, taking deposits on new boats at a time when you know people are struggling to sell boats at boat shows, and you know people are just taking longer to decide. Uh, to when to purchase a boat but you know they seemed probably the most optimistic people at the show and I think you're gonna be seeing a lot more sea winds in America so uh, with that said uh, uh, is my walkthrough of the sea wind 1600 uh, hope you enjoy the tour and let's go aboard so we're looking at the sea wind uh, 1600 the latest and biggest at least production model from sea wind Got nice long sugar scoops. We'll check the bridge deck clearance. Got a grill off to the side. The entire boat is covered in the pseudo teak. You have Antal controls for your uh, dagger boards. This boat does come equipped with dagger boards as well as Harkins for the control lines. Let's take a look at the helm station slash cockpits. Uh, see when typically doesn't use raised uh, helm stations. These are slightly raised, just enough to give you the right amount of visibility. And you have two of them. This is optioned with B&G Electronics. As well as Yanmar diesels. And first interesting feature is that we have a nice, really big uh, electric Harkin winch. So this is similar to the layout on the Katana catamarans, which are over there, where you have a big central winch uh, and all the control lines come under the boat and up to here. So you can do all your trimming under the hard top. It's very convenient. We've got the mechanical space down here, which I will show you in a bit. Okay, going in. So the mechanical space has a actually a fiberglass step, so you can easily get down. The space in here is really good. Thick insulation. You got your fuel filters. Uh, electrical breakers, uh, your Yanmar diesels, and in back of me is the water maker, Spectra. So yeah, the space in here is pretty great, and all of the electricals in here, I'm told, are redundant. So if something fails, you have backup. So the port helm station is more of the main helm station. It has the big B&G plotter, as well as the autopilot wind indicator. But you have engine controls on both sides, so it's all good. You've got this kind of curved space up here, where you could put a sun pad or something. You've got a day bed off to the side as well. Notice that all the hatches on this boat are flush, as is the trend these days. The entire boat, or this boat in particular, is all done up in fake teak. So, you're pretty sure that is an option. We've got a split trampoline up here, as well as a roller furling Jib Genoa and a Code Zero or some other light air sail. Lines on this boat are very sleek, very laid back. It's kind of funny since vertical windows are kind of becoming the norm, but they say they're doing all right in terms of orders, so. Take a look at the rig. Two spreaders, two, uh, two, sh two stays. 
and two side stays and two four stays. Got grab rails off to the side. Nice gap between the hard top and the salon roof. So you don't miss out on visibility. Speaking of visibility, we'll do a quick test. You can see one corner of the boat. Hey guys. Two corners. I'm rough. Well, almost three corners. And almost the fourth corner, but three out of four ain't bad. And you've got an L-shaped settee as well, which is your main dining area. So now we'll go inside. We'll start with the guests. Forward, we have a single berth. Some shelving off to the side. Storage. The two guests in here share a single head, which is really bright. The hatch lets in a lot of light. And somewhat unusually, it has a real tempered glass uh, to uh, for the head. Single basin sink. And a much bigger bed on the aft. In the master, you've got queen size berth. More storage again. And the master's head, which is quite large. Also detachable, and also has a seat. As well as the, both of the heads have fake teak on the bottom. The owner's, uh, the owner's suite also has a really, really big storage closet. You've got a semi-enclosed galley, propane burners, Miel oven, nice big sinks. I don't like small sinks. If you don't know that about me, small sinks are kind of a pet peeve of mine, so. Yeah, and you also have more cold storage if you lift this up in here. Main seating area in the salon is this U-shaped uh, uh, settee. This table also folds in and out. It also has a pretty generous nav station. Again, optioned with more B&G. So that is the new Seawind 1600. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and keep watching for more videos. Hope to see you on the next one.